Closing grain markets for Wednesday, September the 23rd. Grains closed lower across the board again today. This is the third consecutive day of lower markets. And this is the first time since early August on beans and since July on corn that we've had three straight days down. So a little different attitude in the markets right now. Everybody's kind of looking to see are we going to turn this thing or not. Uh, USDA did announce sales again this morning of 132,000 metric tons of beans to China and 126,000 metric tons of soybeans to unknown, but that was not enough to keep this market rallied. Uh, we opened up and rallied a little bit right after the break when it was announced, but then failed to hold and closed lower on the day. Uh, it just seems like sales are not making a big news all of a sudden. Everybody's kind of thinking that, oh, so we made another sale. It, it just doesn't seem like the demand side is driving it like it was a few weeks ago. Uh, crude oil inventory this week was released at 494.4 million barrels. That's down 1.6 million from the previous week and 74.9 million above last year. Gasoline stocks, 227.5. That's down 4.0 million barrels and down 2.7 from last year. Distillate stocks, 175.9, down 3.4 million and 42.2 million above last year so a large increase over last year in both crude and distillate slightly smaller in gas refinery capacity was 74.8 percent that's down one percent for the week and down 15 percent from last year ethanol production was surprised traders as it was down 20,000 barrels a day at 906,000 and that's 37,000 behind last year uh, stocks were, even with the lower production, stocks were up 19.997 million barrels of ethanol. That's up 199,000 from the previous week, but still 2.503 million barrels below last year. Part of the issue in this market has been the strong dollar. We continue to see dollar make new highs. This is two month highs in the dollar. So uh, that's putting some pressure on. And at the same time, we have the real being weaker. So uh, Brazilian farmer, uh, the Rizal is down 5%. He's getting record prices for corn and soybeans, and they're looking for an increase in acres in South America because of these high prices. Uh, right now, the Brazilian farmer is expected to have 50% of his new crop beans that he's planting this fall already marketed at, the, at very good prices for them. So that's part of the pressure that we're seeing. We'll have to see as this thing moves forward whether that continues or not. We need this dollar to turn around and go weaker again like we were having a few weeks ago instead of rallying and hitting highs for two months. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good evening.